All right, here we are for round one. Our opponent is in the play. Uh, this is a good hand. It's not a great hand. We don't have a two drop, um, but we do have two land. If we draw another land, we can at least play like, you know, Pilgrim into something or Warden, etc. We have a trip, excuse me, triplicate and Devouring Light. We're gonna keep. I would love to draw River Marshal and then Island. That would be, that'd be pretty great. Island, all right. I'll take the other order too. Marauder, all right. I'd love to draw a two drop. Mass Calcify, that is not a two drop by the stretch of anyone's imagination. <laughs> So basically what I'm trying to tr try and do here is stay alive, since my opponent is on the play with a pretty aggressive start. Just, I mean, Bo Borderland Minotaur by itself, or Marauder by itself, is a pretty aggressive start. Ooh, Invasive Species. Jeez, he is getting serious. All right, well, I would love to have had that guy. Ooh, he, he actually returned his creature. Uh, all right, well, we're just going to play, I'm just going to play Warden here. Because um, if I play Warden and then I Divine Favorite, uh, then, you know, if I draw a land, I can have Divine Favorite, Warden, and then play Research Assistant as well the next turn. Um, I can also play Heliod's Pilgrim and get the uh, the plus two, plus two enchantment, but I don't think that that's as good. I think that playing Warden um, and getting to, if I draw a land, play more stuff is, uh, is better, so. I also have Devouring Light, which I can turn Warden on with. Oh god, oh god, glorious. Alright, we're just gonna take this three. And I hope you're not a curd chieftain. Curd chieftain. I hope you're not a curd chieftain into curd chieftain. Okay, um, well, I may just have to say go here. Um, and then I can devouring light I can block there and devouring like this, that would be incredible. I'm just gonna say go. I guess I can't block there. I have to devouring like this pre pre blocks, and then he'd have to commit the mana to that. I really hope he doesn't have. Oh, he's not even attacking with that. Well, that sucks. I kind of want to devouring this like this anyway at this point. Um, make my guy a a four four. If he's, if he's not going to attack with Curd Chieftain, I'm not going to get to Devouring Light. I can't just not use my mana this turn, so we're just going to cast this. Which is going to make our Warden a 4-4. And then we can Divine Favorite to be a 5-7. So we have a 5-7 Vigilance. Assuming he doesn't like stoke the flames in response or something. And then I play research assistant here. So five seven vigilance is pretty tough for a green red deck to deal with. And we have a pretty good hand too, so. He's attacking. What could this be? If I double, like if he has Gather Courage, let's say he has Gather Courage. There's another Gather Courage in the draft. So this would be six, seven, eight. I'm just not gonna block. He, he wouldn't attack here without something. And double blocking, like single blocking and getting pumped Gather Courage would be horrible for me. Um, so I'm certainly just not gonna block. So uh, my guess is that he has Gather Courage in hand, particularly given that we saw Gather Courage in the draft. Forge Devil. Oh, or that. Okay. Maybe he's trying to... All right. Well, that that's interesting because that makes my, my read on him less strong. So he, may, he maybe actually doesn't have Gather Courage. It's possible that he... Uh, he's just going to chump, okay. Now I'm going to triple get spirit. I 
I'm actually just if he attacks again, I'm still gonna put him on, on gather courage because like that the the fourth devil means that his attack. Okay, he probably still has gather courage. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna block with a spirit. I could block with warden and several spirits. Um, but I think I'm just going to block with the spirit and force him to trample if he wants to do any damage, which uses all of his mana for the turn. So I take five. Maybe I should have actually just... Oh, yeah, this guy was tapped. Yeah, I couldn't. All right, he's jumping there. So if, I, if he attacks and I block with everything, if he has Gather Courage, then he becomes 8-8, he becomes eight, eight, and I, I do 8 to his guy, um, and he can only kill, like, this. And I'm actually in, I'm actually in a totally reasonable position anyway. So yeah, if he attacks me again, I'm triple blocking. Oop, he's doing Cone of Flame. Okay. Oh, well now I'm at five. It's the worst position to be in. So uh, I can attack with these two and just play Wilford's Golem. And then I'm in a similar position in that even if he has toss that cone of flame was actually what he was what he was playing too. Uh, you know, that his his attack also makes sense with cone of flame because he gets attacks and then cone of flames this and like two other guys. Uh, I can just tap his guy now, right? Yeah. All right, we win. So yeah, the uh, you know there were a number of things you could have. Gather courage was the thing that I put him on that made the most sense. But being just trading his guy off and you know killing my guy with cone of flame also makes sense. So we're less convinced that he has gather courage than we were. Um, I'm gonna definitely add uh, at least one pillar of light, maybe two. Um, knowing that he has he has forge devil and cone of flame, which makes my one toughness guys worse. So I'm gonna board out Welkin turn. Uh, I still want to have soul mender medic, I think, because. Uh, it's just a really cheap way to get Convoke up. Um, I could also take out, I could see taking out Helion's Pilgrim just because it's relatively slow. I could even see just playing three Pillar of Lights against him. You know, we saw, we, we saw just the Curd Chieftain, so maybe we don't want three. I'm just going to play two. We're just going to play two Pillars. Because, you know, I already have a... Uh, a Devouring Light. We only we only know about Courage Chieftain. Having Devouring Light and two pillars for Courage Chieftain is good. If you, if we see like you know in this game, if we see a bunch more four toughness or higher creatures, uh, I can certainly see bringing in the third pillar. But for now, I'm just going to go with this. All right, this is a fine hand. We will keep. Divine Favor and Warn of the Beyond again is uh, is you know a nice uh, nice possible opening. Having a two drop with research assistant, ooh, and that guy's good too. All right, Rune Claw Bear less good than his previous start, especially given that I have a two drop now. If he attacks me, I might not block because I just want to get Forge Deviled. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it. I think. We saw Forge Devil. We don't want to just get Forge Deviled. The two damage is, you know, whatever he's free rolling me, but. I'm gonna get Cone of Flamed. I'm just gonna take this damage. So next turn, uh, if he plays a land this turn, I'm not gonna play Razorfoot Griffin next turn. I'm actually just gonna Divine Favor this guy. 
because I don't want to get Kona flamed. Given that we know he has Kona flame. Plus just a divine favor in this guy is just really powerful. Maybe I'll play Heliod's Pilgrim instead. Um, I think I may just, just attack with Warden and play Heliod's Pilgrim. Because then if he attacks me with just this, I could potentially double block with these two. Uh, I'm relatively resistant to Cone of Flame right now. I don't, like, he just left four mana up, which I don't want to just cast a Divine Favor into four mana because he could easily have something like Lightning Strike. So I'm just going to attack with Warden. And I'm going to Heliod's Pilgrim for Marked by Honor. Then we can just construct another giant monster. So if he Kona flames me, he kills this and this, and I'm left with Heliod's Pilgrim. Whoa, Swamp. Uh, I wonder if he has Nightfire Giant? Last game he was... Nightfire Giant's a, a strange splash. What, what could a splash be? All right, well, we're going to block with these two. If he does have... Uh, you know, Gather Courage doesn't do anything here. Which is the other thing that we were thinking about. He could he could have uh, Cone of Flame, and this way he wipes my board with Cone of Flame. But that's fine. I just play Master of Predicaments, and he has nothing in play. He could just trade off for Pilgrim, and that's fine too. All yeah, there's a Cone of Flame. That's fine. We just cast Master of Predicaments next turn. Glad I played around that Cone of Flame by not playing Razorfoot Griffin. Is it greater than four? So we're just going to attack. I'm going to try and play Triplicate Spirits for free. Because he knows I have Mark by Honor, so it's, is it greater than four? Okay. Curses. Well, now I'm just going to cast tri Triplicate Spirits for not free. So I cast Triple Spirits here because, again, you know, there, there was the, the turn where it looked like he might just have Lightning Strike. Uh, he's had no, good, real, no particularly good opportunities to cast Lightning Strike. I'm just going to take this damage because I'm at super high life total. Forge Double, okay. Frenzied Goblin, okay. Uh, this is lethal, I think, right? It's plus six, so it's 12. Uh, if I attack and he doesn't have a lightning strike or something, it's lethal. If he does, he goes to three, then he can attack me for five next turn. All right, we're just going to attack and I try to kill him with Sanctified Charge. And... He is dead. All right, well, that was... <laughs> I will choose which one, which one to cast. So yeah, this deck is gross, um, as was pretty easily demonstrated in those games. Um, I, uh, you know, I think that, that the sort of interesting things there, you know, just the decisions that I made regarding potentially playing around Cone of Flame, particularly after having seen it the previous game. Um, I, I, it may have been a little over overly conservative by not playing into a possible lightning strike, um, but, uh, you know, I ended up all of the plays that I that I made, you know, were still very productive and helped play around the possibility of him having that, which could have been uh, could have been pretty disastrous if we tried to sink 
uh, a bunch of mana and a uh, entire turn into doing things that could be stopped by lightning strike. So anyway, um, that's it for this match, and let's go on to the next.